Hello everyone, Dice Crazy Dude here. Today we'll be looking at Mimic Dice's Pink Liquid Core set from their Kickstarter pre-release sale. That is, unless this thing decides to take a bite out of me. Each Mimic Dice set comes appropriately enough in its own little Mimic. These cases are actually a lot more compact than I thought they would be, but they're made of this really nice thick cardboard, so they actually feel really good in the hand. They've got a magnetic closure on the front, and kind of a nice little extra stuff they did is this artwork actually continues on into the inside. So it looks like a little mimic is actually eating your whole dice set. The foam they come packed in is actually a really dense foam. Kind of makes it actually hard to get the dice in and out, but just use that little tongue flap and you can pop up the foam, and then you can kind of punch the dice from the backside, get them out. All right. Let's get to the table and let's get rolling. I picked up the Pink Liquid Core Dice Set off of Mimic Dice's website as part of their Kickstarter pre-release sale for only $30. Now I picked this set for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to check out the quality of their dice before committing more to their Kickstarter. And two, this is actually the only Liquid Core offering that they have on their entire website. And they said this is actually a prototype so that I may or may not ever produce a Liquid Core set. So I want to check it out while I could. So taking a look at the dice, you can see that they chose a nice translucent pink. They use silver numbering and then scattered throughout their resin, they actually have this gold flake that's silver on the other side. And then there's obviously the liquid core on the inside. Now this silver lettering actually shines really nicely on these dice. You can see that these are actually surprisingly readable for something that may look actually a little busy from the get go. Now all the lines on these dice are actually nice and sharp and they got nice clean faces. The only issue I've had with the entire set is actually the D20 here. And that's when you try, let's see, find that seven side, there we go. So you can see just by luck of the draw that a bunch of that gold flake has settled on the bottom and some of it's actually on that silver side. So it actually kind of makes that seven hard to pick out just because it's so busy right there. But that's the only face on this entire die so actually, I know when that comes up that that's the seven side. And that was, like I said, just completely random that that happened that way. Now, Mimic Dice has chosen to use that same liquid core that a lot of other sets have, where when it gets twirled up, it actually kind of turns into a whitish cloud. And normally I'm not the biggest fan of that. But with this translucent pink, you can actually see it kind of tints that cloud. So it actually looks pretty nice on here. They use a you know really light color on the dice set for that resin. It actually kind of washes and whitens it out, but with this pink here, it actually looks pretty good when that core starts going around. It still maintains that nice pink color. Now, also like a lot of the liquid core die sets, not all of the cores are actually perfectly centered. You can see the D20 here, it's actually off to one side, and the D12 actually suffers the same kind of fate where it's a little bit lopsided in there. It's, not, it's just a little off center. All the other dice, actually, the cores are centered very nicely. Haven't had any issues. Um, I've noticed that it doesn't like super unbalance the die when it's to one side, but it does kind of tend to favor certain numbers a little bit more. Just from casual rolling, I've never actually like tried to go through and scientifically determine if it makes unbalanced or not. Overall, the quality on these dice is actually really nice. All the lines are nice and sharp. All the faces are nicely polished. Like I said, the inking is done really well. I haven't seen a single issue with inking on any of the dice. And I think it's just overall a really quality product. And for $30, you can't beat that for a seven die liquid core set. I mean, that's the best price I've, I've seen anywhere. So the only issue is these are limited availability. One, they're part of a pre-release sale. So they only had so many sets in the first place. And two, they said it's a prototype. So they may or may not ever make more of these. So if you like the look of this, Go to Mimic Dice's website, grab it while you can, and let them know that, hey, you're a big fan of these and you want to see more from them. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this set, Mimic Dice's other sets, or just Mimics in general. And hey, if you can, a like and a subscribe are always appreciated. All right, everybody, thanks for watching and remember to keep rolling. Bye.